What's up, everybody? We are back with another video, and in this one, we're going to be talking about the new gameplay trailer shown for Claire Obscure Expedition 33. Now, this game was originally shown off at the Xbox Showcase uh, back in June, and I think it kind of took everybody by surprise because I don't think anyone was expecting anything like this. Yes, we once we saw it, the game visually looked looked uh, good, but once you saw uh, the turn-based combat, but then once the uh, enemy was attacking, you saw how it had a real-time mechanics mixed in with it. So I think that was a bit of a shocker. And I know once I saw that, I was I was interested in it. The gameplay video is uh, roughly seven minutes. Um, started off showing off a uh, cutscene with uh, two of the characters. Um, so far, the game visually is looking looking good. Uh, character models and environments so it showed that off and went into gameplay kind of showing characters walking through um, this environment seemed almost seemed like a kind of type of underwater with some of the uh, flowers and things that are around and it almost seemed like bubbles or something are, are blowing up but I don't know I guess we'll have to see uh, when the game comes out and maybe uh, they'll explain a little bit more about uh, this area we just showed that um show three different characters in the in this trailer i showed a little bit uh i guess walking through kind of linear then open up the space a little bit more uh, so i'm pretty sure like any other rpg you'll be able to explore uh find different things on the map biggest part of this is the combat you had uh one with i guess might be like one of the basic enemies and maybe the other ones maybe like a boss or like a, a mini boss um showing more of the gameplay mechanics uh you got your dodge jump and parry we saw the jump used in the, the boss fight and uh What's real cool about it is how uh, when when the boss fight started and it attacked and it jumped, uh, the whole part party parried three times and they did the counter. And from what I was seeing, the bar under the health um, that's your SP. So every time uh, they got a successful parry, uh, one bar was added on to the full meter. So they successfully parried three times, so they got three extra um, on their meter, three extra bars on their meter. So it seems like, from, from what I was saying, uh, the parry is the one that gives you more to your more bar to your meter, because um, when they dodge, you didn't get anything from what I saw, and with that. Um, it seemed like you can, uh, each turn when it moves on to the next character, they do, uh, gain some, uh, gain a bar, but it seemed like the, the character that was in the middle, the female character in the middle, seemed like she gained, uh, two bars onto her meter when it went to her for her turn and the other female character only gained one. Yeah. So it seems like, um, and we're, with this, only the counter gives you more on your meter, but it seems like dodging doesn't. So maybe that might be the case because maybe dodging is a little bit easier and the parry has to be more uh, more times. And but that's cool how you gain meter when it switches to every character and you can gain meter for your parries. So say if you might be a little bit low, while you're fighting and your the uh, enemy phase starts, you be able to gain some meter so that when you go to your character, you have some extra meter and maybe like with the boss you did, you get three successful parries plus um, however many each character, how many of the uh, bars are added to the meter for each character you might be able to use another stronger attack uh, after you just use it, something like that. 
basically it so far. The game is uh looking good. I uh, can't wait to see more of it. Um, coming 2025, it doesn't have an exact date yet. So I'm excited to see more of what the devs do and excited to see um, more of the story and the uh, type of enemies and things and the exploration. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications every time I go live and post a video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the gameplay and um, if you're excited for the game. But yeah, that's it. Everyone have a good one. Be cool. Stay safe out there. Show someone some love. And God bless. Peace.